Hey loves. So I'm just going to show you the things that I use while I'm in the ICU. Um, these are things that I use for every shift. And then these are just like give you an idea of what I think you guys might need or what you may want. Um, everyone has like a different system. Some people use less, some people use more, but I'm just showing you what I use. Uh, the first and foremost thing that you always want to make sure you have every shift is going to be your badge. Um, and I took my badge apart just because it has my ID and where I work. But um, some of the main things is this, this was actually supplied by my hospital. Uh, this I actually purchased on Amazon and this is just um, to help you with rhythm strips. You can see on the back here it gives you um, measurements so that you can uh, measure your QR, your QT. Um, it gives these here as well to make it a little bit easier when you're mapping strips. You guys can see here. And then also gives you what things to look for if you're looking for a lateral wall infarct which is up here, a septal wall infarct inferior wall and anterior wall. Um, I don't use this probably as much as I should because I'm still trying to get used to mapping strips, um, but I do find that um, it can be helpful in um, measuring. And then also I know a lot of nurses um, use them as well. Also down here is that this is if to help you measure the heart rate and you just match the R to R. And if it falls in between this rate, then you know that the heart rate is 300, 150 or whatever it is. Okay. This was actually given to us by the hospital. Um, it's just a lab uh, breakdown of what color vials for what labs you're drawing. Um, and I keep this in my uh, ID badge pocket. It's kind of like a, a flip through. That way if I ever need to see um, what labs are drawing and I need to know what tubes to pull to draw them, um, this is what we do. We don't generally draw labs in our ICU. We actually have lab and comes up and do it unless it's a nurse stick and this is like if a patient is refusing labs, um, only wants a nurse to do them or if it's like an A-line in which we draw the labs from the A-line um, or a central line if you have the permission to do so. Um, but this is what we use to know which labs to go into. This is just the basic breakdown of um, our code system in the hospital. Just so you know what to do in case something happens or what, what code means. And this is something actually also purchased on Amazon. It's just a clear pouch. Um, and what I use is I use this to hold my BLS and ACLS card. But mainly it's for me to see uh, the pressors and drugs that we use in the ICU. Um, everybody's ICU uses a different concentration or different um, amount that you're allowed to use, your max or minimum dosage. So I've just written, uh, written it down here just for easy access because if I'm hanging like amiodarone, I need to know what am I starting at. Or if I'm hanging, hanging uh, propofol, then I want to know what is the max amount to give. And then I just put like little things next to it just the things to look out for. Um, you know, propofol might decrease respirations and blood pressure, stuff like that. So these are just like easy, quick access that if I ever need to look at something, then I just have it here. Um, and I pulled this off of our policies and procedures, so I recommend you doing that as well, making one of your own for quick access. Um, I always recommend having a charger because your phone may die, you never know when you might need it, or um, it has happened to me before where my car didn't start and I needed someone to call. Um, so make sure you have a charger with you and your phone is charged. Stethoscope, of course. This isn't the stethoscope that I actually use in the ICU. I do have a Littman cardiac one. This is actually one that I use when I work at the urgent care if I'm picking up per diem shifts or just my second stethoscope that I keep in the car, um, just in case I ever forget my stethoscope. That's what I use. But my one that I use in the ICU, I do keep in the ICU. Um, everything that I take into the ICU, I try to just keep it there um, just so that I never have to worry about losing it. And then, of course, pens. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I love pens and I love colors. Um, I always recommend having at least two black pens, definitely two blue pens. You're going to want a permanent marker and this is what I use to like label maybe a medicine cup or a Foley or a drainage bag or whatever just mark it on there and then I always use a different colored pen I normally use uh, red for marking like critical labs or something I need to remember and then I always have a highlighter with me but I didn't have it in my bag um, and that's just for me to highlight anything on my rounds report sheet like as far as our allergies things to know main things to point out 
keep that. So I definitely recommend getting multiple pens. Always want to have two because someone is going to ask to borrow one and you probably won't get it back. Um, I do black ink when I'm taking a report and then I'll do blue ink for anything that is new. Um, so, or also what I'll do is I'll use black ink for the report that I was given and then blue for the, um, for the assessment that I take. That way I know what is mine and what's theirs. Um, whatever your way to, you know, prioritize things and to make it easier for you, I think that works. And then the only other thing that I have with me is my planner. Um, this is where I map the days that I work, uh, my school things, bills and all that stuff. I keep it all in here and that's just to make things a little bit easier. So for me, uh, anything with a red dot are the days that I was working that month. Um, and that's just so that I know, okay, I need this day, I work this day, um, or if I wanna, you know, s schedule something, I need to know what days I'm working so I don't go ahead and actually accidentally schedule myself for a day that I can't because I'm scheduled to work. So that's how I do it. and. This is just an Erin Condren planner. I do really like these planners. Um, they're colorful, they're nice, easy to you know, use. A lot of customizability and I like uh, anything with bright colors. Yep, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, this is pretty much everything that I bring. The only other thing that I may think of that I may use that I don't have here with me is going to be a little pencil case and that's what I keep all my pens. Um, I'll probably, I put like chapstick in there, just anything that's quick access I can just get to, my highlighters, all that is in there. And then I carry everything just in a backpack because it's just easy to use and then um, I keep it in the ICU while I'm there and then bring it home. But this stuff keeps stays in my locker other than my ID. My ID comes home with me um, and that's because we need it to get into the unit and into places in the hospital. I hope this helps.